Aggression of Austin. Well, we've just been through Texas as well. Um, we just did Houston and Dallas as well. And it, it seems very different to the rest of Texas. It kind of feels like a bubble in the middle of it. Um, it, se it seems quite, I don't know, liberal, I guess is the word, and quite cool. Uh, we actually didn't rehearse before this tour, although we have started rehearsing um, more as it's got more professional and the stages have got bigger. Um, I think there's something quite nice about not being over rehearsed and I don't know, I think it's good to make mistakes occasionally. We're not all like session musicians playing for like a pop star um, and also we like move around a lot on stage um, so kind of mistakes are always going to come from that I think. There's definitely more sample based stuff in our in our new songs and it's, it's quite dancey, it's definitely on the dancier side of a different kind of fix. Yeah, we want to make people dance, that's the main aim I think. Uh, we have an Australian tour um, over New Year's Eve and then kind of the start of the year. Um, I think that'll be the last tour for the album and then just making the next album, I think. Uh, and we're actually going to look at a studio in Texas tomorrow, um, so maybe we'll end up recording it in Texas. <laughs> We kind of had our first exposure when we were 16, but then we like did two more years of school, so we had a lot of time to like think about the first album, I think, and to put a lot of uh, effort into the songwriting. And we actually recorded the album before we signed the record deal as well, so we kind of had a lot more control over it. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> Something funny just happened. Uh, yeah, if your friends can get into the show, bring as many of them as you can. It'll make you look good to the promoters, and then they want they want to have you back.